Now, vitamin D is a fat soluble. Um, um, vitamin is actually, it, it's not exactly a vitamin, um, but uh, more of a hormone uh, activator. And uh, it, it, it just, we don't get enough sun in the midwinter to really, to really get it, but it's stored in the fat. So if we really store it up during the summer, then uh, a minimal dose through the winter usually will, will be sufficient. Although, as evidenced by the fact that so many people start getting colds and flus in January and such, most people aren't, don't have enough stores. So taking a daily supplement of D, D3, either lanolin or cod liver oil uh, that is fermented, uh, must be okay. fermented cod liver oil, is, is kind of a, is a must-do. Influenza, by the way, is... Uh, uh, comes from uh, uh, the old medieval Latin word influencia or influence. Uh, they mm. believed at that time that epidemics were the result, uh, you'll love this, of extraterrestrial influences. Really? <laughs> well, so great. these influences. But how do you explain then? How do you explain something like the, one of my uh, favorite uh, uh, disgusting subjects, the Black Plague? Uh, we, you could literally see the you know, like a wave go, sure. blowing through Europe and killing everything in sight. Well, there are a lot of ideas about the Black Plague, but it just goes back to the Melu, the terrain, um, when food is hard to come by, and we're uh -huh. looking at uh, you know the rising price of food as we talk, and the possibility that crops. Uh, may not be as uh, substantially harvested in certain places as we're used to. And as, as, as malnutrition uh, ensues, then all those very important vitamins, all those important minerals, and most important of all, enzymes are in shorter supply. And so in periods of uh, great disease in the olden times, now more recently, starting with the 1918 uh, influenza, um, I think we can almost always look at the, the vaccination process as being mm -hmm. the causative factor, and indeed that was the wow. case then. Well, that's a great explanation. So, you, it, it, so the, the, um, the minor ice age of the 1300s caused crop failure, you bet, big time. which caused malnutrition, which causes the loss of T-cells, which causes... Immune dysfunction. Right. Wow. And right. now these pieces within the blood, these microbes have to reorganize themselves to try to return us to health, and they're put under the strain of doing that, and that stresses the organism, and that's called sick. Wow. Well, Steve, I'd, I'd like to have you back and talk about mercury and cancer and a few other things. Very enlightening. <laughs> thanks for being on. Well, thank you, Jay, it. and thanks for all your yeah. good work. Well, thank you so much. Okay, I'm Jay Widener. You've been listening to Smoke and Mirrors. That was Stephen Oakley. If you have any questions about him or to him, you can write me at editor at smokeandmirrorsradio.net. We'll be on tomorrow night. We've got Peter Lavenda, Sinister Forces. Watch out. Good night.